Hey, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Doc Mountain. In this video, we will be tackling a question from Science Paper 1, which was written by the GC candidates in 2024. So, <clears throat> let's take a dive. We have this question, the same gave B6.1 shows a lens used to form an image drawn to scale. And they're saying identify the type of lens. So <clears throat> this one is pretty simple. When you see rays meeting at some point, then you need to know you're dealing with a converging lens. Okay? Converging lens. We can also say it's a convex lens. So if you don't say it's a convex lens, you can say it's a converging lens. It's one and the same. Okay, so as long as rays are meeting, where are they meeting from? They're meeting from here. There's this ray, there's that ray, and they're meeting at this point. And as I mentioned, two characteristics of the image formed. These are things you don't need to master. You just have to look at the image that is formed. So when you look at this one here, it's actually upside down. This one is upright, which is the object, and then an object is here, so it's upright. So you can say uh, the image is upright. Now, you don't need to write where I'm writing. You write the answers within the provided spaces, okay? So the image is upside down. The other thing is the image is magnified. Now when you're writing answers, <laughs> when you're answering questions on an exam, write as if you're writing for a person who knows nothing. So include those words that I'm including when I'm just saying this verbally. So saying the image is magnified. Though here I'm just writing magnified. Uh, so because I'm trying to save on space, then the, the other characteristic is that the image is real. The image is real. It's real because it's upside down, right? And then we can go ahead and say the image is inverted. Inverted. The image is inverted. Then we can say the image is formed beyond 2F. The image is formed beyond 2F. Okay, so those are enough. They said two. I've given more than two. And we are done with that. So now this, the third question, which is C, is saying what device uses this type of a lens to produce a similar type of image? So the device that uses this type of a lens is a projector. Okay, projector. Let me write let me write the name here. Projector. And we are done with this question. We can move on to the next question. But uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that the time I'll be rolling out the quest the, the, the other video on this question, you don't miss out. You only receive a notification and then you simply tune in and watch the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.